Hello everyone and welcome to this Spy Party Winter Cup Group Stages cast. Uh, we have, uh, I am your host Scout, we have two matches for you today uh, and your casters will be Hornet and Martini. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Hornet and happy to be joining you today for this Winter Cup Group Stage cast. So today we are looking at games from both Group C and Group D. Uh, two, um, two groups that look quite competitive to me. Um, first, we're starting off with Group C. And um, yeah, Martini. So, you know, looking through this group, uh, you know, Assetine Effect kind of stands out as like, you know, the really strong, really active player. And then you uh, you kind of got some more old school players. Uh, you know, I know Kadi has been around, maybe not quite as much as Assetine, but then we have uh, both Clouseau and uh, Toad Rider who, um, yeah, really, you know, the newer players haven't got a chance to see much of. So, uh, what are what what are your predictions for the how this group pans out? Um, yeah, I think like you said, Astatine probably a favorite for this group, but um, Kota has been around for a while. I think since around like SCL five, he doesn't have a very high game count, but that hasn't stopped him from putting up some good results against very good players. And Toad Rider, um, I believe this is his first uh, competitive event since SCL seven, so he was taking a break, but uh, good to see him back. Um, and Closal is, I believe, this is their first competitive event. So exciting to see new players joining as well. But uh, I think um, Toad Rider will have to get at least a win against Acetine or here against Kota if he wants a chance to advance. Yeah, so um, first game we're going to be looking at today uh, is, in fact, uh, Kadi versus Toad Rider. So, um, yeah, definitely kind of, you know, a you know, an opportunity to kind of start jockeying for that, you know, top one or two spots. You know, when, you know, when a group of four, every match is very important, um, especially, you know, when you're in a, a kind of a winnable match. And I think both of these players should be looking at it as such. Um, and with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the draft. So, um, uh, Kadi uh, picked 30,000 leagues and uh, Toad Rider countered with Spoonful of Sugar. And it uh, looks like Toad Rider bans Tayen and... Uh, Kadi banned high rise, and Kadi uh, opted to snipe first. So, um, yeah, a pretty um, you know leaves us with a pretty standard set. We have, uh, I guess, the one um, not so standard is we're going to have balcony in the set, but it's going to leave us with uh, aquarium, balcony, modern ballroom, library, and gallery. So, um, should make for a pretty interesting match. Yeah, I think Spoonful of Sugar has been pretty popular among people playing these uh, sets. And one of the interesting uh, twists we have is the 3 of 8 high rise, which I believe is mostly the same as, um, in terms of guest count and time, the same as the the 3 of 6 variant we had before. But now um, the Spy has a little more options and the Sniper has a little more to watch for. But I think it's overall um, better, better more more engaging. Yep, and uh, with that, let's uh, go ahead and get into the match. So it looks like we're um, starting things off on Aquarium. All right, so it looks like on Aquarium, it looks like Toad Rider will be spying first as Boots. And let's go ahead and kick this off in three, two, one, playing it. Uh, pretty long um, AI control right off the bat from Toad Rider, and a uh, very busy bar and statue. So, um, you know, I think with the CCs empty, um, it might actually be a good time to go ahead and get a little get a little bit of progress done. Yeah, hopefully Toad Rider is taking note of this uh, heavy bar activity. He could be, you know, going for a flirt and maybe thinking about um, going for a frame or just going to bar and picking up a delegate and, you know, just. Uh, Confusing the sniper as to where a delegate could be coming from with so many highlights in the party already. Yeah, so uh, Toad Rider does decide to go ahead and at least um, get some flirt progress, and it is a green for 51%. Um, you know, I think, you know, going for a green flirt right off the bat, it might get you flirt paired, but uh, I think, you know, the mental load that Kadi's under with so many bar visitors, so many statue visitors, uh, I think we're probably looking pretty good so far. Yeah, this is definitely not the type of start you want to see uh, from the sniper side. We've already have what seven highlights in the party already. 
Um, the only saving grace for the uh, for the sniper is that the spy actually isn't taking too much advantage of this right now. We do have that 51%, which is good. Um, the Amba coming out. We're not going to be able to do anything there. But we do get a, another green for it to finish Seduce early at least. Yep, so um, yeah, nice to go ahead and knock that flirt out early. I think um, for many people that's a standard play. And yeah, I think Toad Rider just kind of feeling the party out and deciding what to go for. And it uh, looks like it's going to be Inspex. Um, you know, this really, I don't think, you know, I don't think Stet, I'm sorry, I don't think Swap is really in the cards, but um, Inspex now and of course, potential for Swap later if we need it. Yeah, and the bar continues to have a lot of activity, so I think Perloin is very much in the cards here. Yeah, and speaking of which, uh, Toad Rider seemingly agrees with you, goes to the bar, and uh, picks up a bar highlight. Um, I think uh, Kadi, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's been exclusively bar highlighting, so we can't really assign too much meaning to them at the moment. Um, that being said, uh, I don't know. I mean, I haven't been paying attention, but are these uh, bar highlights getting taken back down? Um, Actually, I'm not sure they are. Because I know some of these were quite early. Yeah, that is uh, quite interesting. Because, um, yes, yeah, so a lot of these were from early in the game, and this, you know, it's been at least two minutes, I would say. So, kind of an interesting strategy. I think maybe uh, Kadi's just kind of doing some mental uh, mental highlights, so to speak, and just, yeah, just trying to just use the highlights to keep note of who has been at the bar at some point. And, uh, Interesting strategy. Uh, Toad Rider goes for a time add, which honestly is not too often seen on Aquarium. Uses the uh, side windows to do it, and um, settles actually right back down at this front window. Yeah, it's good to see that Toad Rider, uh, despite the slow start, at least he recognizes that he is going to need that time if he's going to finish missions, and it looks like he chose a good time to do it. And oh, now we're going to go for a bug, which is unfortunately not behind the shark, and Kota is all over it. Yeah, a little unfortunate because I think we got away clean with that time add. Um, you know, the the bug is a nice idea. Unfortunately, it was just so visible. Um, you know, if the arm had been a little more hidden, uh, if the shark was giving us a little bit, bit better cover, um, you know, that that could have worked out nicely. But um, as as played, uh, that unfortunately that was just a kind of a free shot for Cody. Yeah, might have misread the shark there. If that was a bottom shark, I think it would have been a pretty good cover, but. Alas. Yeah, pretty good cover. The path still might have raised some alarm bells, but um, yeah, but um, with that, let's go ahead and get into the next round. It'll be uh, Kadi uh, spying as Redress in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, once again, a fairly busy bar. The The main difference is that we're actually part of it this time, so if we want to get it on a purloin, it would be narrowed down to about, well, four, yeah, about four suspects. Maybe not ideal, but um, we do, we are getting flirt progress, so you know, even if we don't do anything with the purloin, um, you know, this is still completely fine. Yeah, it looks like we are going to commit to staying here for the drink. Of course, AI can leave after a while uh, if, if they get impatient from waiting on Toby for too long. Yeah, we do take the drink, and I think even a briefcase was available, so um, leads me to believe that maybe Kadi is actually considering a purloin. So we're gonna go ahead and actually take this briefcase and go for the difficult print. Let's see if uh, let's see if he can hit it. And he does get the difficult fingerprint. Very uh, very nice play from Kadi. That one. Um, that one's going to be pretty hard to credit. I mean, maybe um, maybe Toad Rider is crediting difficult prints, but um, if I'm a sniper, I'm not really expecting that that he picked up a print in that situation. Yeah, always good to have a, a print in your back pocket. Uh, it certainly opens up your late game options. It looks like we're not going to send off this purloin. We're just going to... We're content with finishing our flirt here and seeing how the rest of the party plays out. Yeah, probably um, probably a good decision. I mean, we're we're actually making great progress. Like fingerprint just kind of changes it, 
changes the whole game because you know i think ambassador at least by the end of the party he'll, he'll leave plenty for us to finish that mission and um between that between finishing the seduce and contact that really only leaves one more decision and uh, it looks like kadi is already going to make progress on that as well so really lots and lots of partial progress and uh, it's going to give kadi many avenues to get to mission one countdown Yeah, having the two inspects allows for some, uh, you know, shark walk plays as well. If he wants to go for like a inspect swap play, um, oh, the ambassador is behind the shark with us. Are we gonna go for a shark bug here? Banana bread. Oh, just yeah. a contact. Yeah, I do like the decision to go ahead and get this contact while not too many people are out of conversation. Um, surely we are a suspect, but I think mainly just because of the inspects. And yeah, that's kind of an interesting choice to bug, because we actually could have finished this without it, but um, I think we just got away with that. Yeah, there wasn't great cover there, and I think Toad Rider, it was on screen. And we do have a lot of mission progress right now. We have two, two missions done, three with partial, and a delegate in pocket. Yeah, we're almost on track to get five or six missions here if if we're going crazy i mean even if we're not like even if um toad rider doesn't have you know credit for all these missions he must know that we've been the most active guest at this party you know if not one of the most so i think um there are things that could get a shot here right like i think going back to statues could potentially get a shot oh and we go for the purloin so another hard tell um Kind of a, a bold play. What, what do you think about this, Martini? Uh, we could use the shark here to maybe hide by the bookshelf. But it looks like we're going into statues. Okay, we really are going for five missions. Yeah, and I wonder if this is almost just to take the attention off the bar. And, um, you know, while they're pondering if they should shoot us for statues, uh, maybe just not notice that the list had already disappeared. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I find it pretty risky to do this because, you know, if, if you're even credited for the bug, then... You know, a lot, most snipers won't wait for, like, the inspect animation. They'll just see you completing statues and just shoot you. Um, but uh, in this case, Kota gets away with it, and Toad Rider holds the shot as the pearl line comes off. Yeah, very, uh, very bold, <laughs> very aggressive spy play from Kadi. And, um, yeah, nice to nice to see that paying off. And um, with that, we are moving into Balcony. So, uh, yeah, complete uh, change of pace from, honestly, any other venue. and. Um, should be interesting to see how this goes. So, Kadi is going to be spying as Sari in three, two, one, playing it. Or sorry, uh, Toad Rider spying as uh, Sari. And um, yeah, actually, almost a situation where maybe a bug could have happened at the very beginning with the blockage from uh, Toby, but uh, Toad Rider thinks better of it, stays on AI control, and um. Yeah, actually in a situation where we don't have any progress yet, but, you know, it's on balcony, a lot of a lot of ways to kind of finish here, but um, probably want to go ahead and get some flirt progress. Yeah, oh, and it looks like Seek is going to do that for us as he comes right back to where he was. Yeah, and unfortunately that's um, only a white flirt, so, yeah, the timer really works against you on balcony. Uh, time adds don't really happen so much here. And to make things worse, uh, Seek is cross-conversation, so finishing Flirt is looking less and less likely by the minute. You know, if we're, if we're lucky, you know, Seek is actually going to be more sus uh, highly suspected for flirting with us rather than us with him. So if we can get a good contact off, uh, maybe even while he's talking, uh, that might that might fire off a shot on him. Yeah, and strategically, I mean, on Balcony, you you always want to try to get a good contact off, and here is really the perfect situation. Um, so whether you're trying to finish or not, you want to give as many people, uh, you know, this mission as, as you can. And, uh, wow, interesting, uh, Kadi flashes on us, and we get shot. Wow. Um, I cannot imagine what that was for. Uh, Martini, do you have any ideas? Uh, you know, we might have been credited for the first time that we chased Seek to Window, uh, you know, at the, when we took control. Because we joined him at window, and then he came back to us, which is, you know, no fault of ours. But that that combined with the fact that we went back in and talked, 
uh, you know, we might have been credited with finishing Flirt, and then we did the white BB, which might have just cemented our suspicion and caught his eyes. Yeah, um, really impressive shot, nonetheless. Um, you know, it's, yeah, Balcony is, it's one of those venues where you, you kind of look like a genius when you're right, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very easy to be wrong as well. Um, so let's see, um, let's see if Toad Rider can answer on the, uh, sniper side as well. So Kadi, uh, will be spying as Alice in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, so somewhat unfortunately we spawn with a drink in hand, so I have to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, I guess maybe not as big of a deal since we're really just doing seduce and contact, but, um, yeah, so joining in right next to Salmon, very, very wise idea. And unfortunately, we do, in fact, get a white, though, for 34%. And getting yeah. pretty close to a situation where we could uh, almost get a perfect contact if General would get back in. Yeah, potentially, we might be getting paired with Small Man here because we joined the window that he was also going to. Yeah, and I think Red Dress is taking this briefcase, so we can't really count on her getting back in a conversation. I think we might want to just go ahead and take this red. contact, and yeah, Kadi does in fact agree. Um, and yeah, it's getting, you know, around that time where, um, you know, most spies would be going for that second flirt. I think Toad Rider is probably aware of that and uh, tracking the, the talk so far. Yeah, we do have time to finish um, barely. Uh, there will be a lot of overtime. Unless Salmon decides to, you know, go to a briefcase at the last moment. Yeah, and actually Cody waited quite a while to take that second flirt. So I think um I think we're in a situation where if we're gonna flirt again, it would be at like the one second mark. So yeah, Cody makes a little distance, which I believe um I'm not sure if this is far enough. Oh wow, and uh Toad Rider just takes a shot. Um not sure if there's maybe a little bit of an etiquette break or, or something, but uh yeah, we just got shot while sipping at windows. It's a it's a very interesting timing for sure. Cuz uh I don't think we could have been doing anything to finish there, but Let's Yeah, see. I mean, I wonder if maybe it was just one of those situations where enough of the other suspects had been eliminated and um just, you know, it was enough for Toad Rider to just feel confident in that shot. We do leave after a talk, which is technically illegal unless you're interrupted but yeah i guess we were just uh you know suspicious enough and uh the sniper is always right if they shoot the spy so who are we to question him yep so um yeah after uh, two uh, pretty nice sniper shots on balcony we will move on to modern and looks like a uh, toad rider this time will be uh, spying as alice in three two one playing it Yeah, so kind of uh, sticking to that same plan of AI controlling, but uh, unfortunately that's taking us all the way into no man's land over here. Uh, but we take advantage of that and we um, do an early time add. So there's only three people at Windows who could have done that, but um, I mean, the question is, you know, is, is Cotty checking for time ads? And I doesn't, you know, it doesn't appear so. Oh, and we pick up a highlight, but as I do recall, uh, Cotty does like to use bar highlights. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it was good to do, take a time out there because they uh, made us waste a little bit of time, but we are going to get a drink with a print on it. So that is some decent progress to start off. Yeah, definitely nice to go ahead and get that bar print. Um, I guess because we are a highlight, definitely don't want to be doing delegates. Uh, if Toad Rider paid attention from Aquarium, then should be aware that uh, Kadi is doing these bar highlights. So, you know, you wouldn't want to send anyone unless you know you had a big enough bar rush that it couldn't be traced back to you um but yeah with that we're we're in a pretty innocent conversation and uh yeah i really don't think we want to spend too much time here we need to at least pick up some partial progress elsewhere yeah we could switch conversations to start our flirt we could delegate if we so choose Although, unbeknownst to us, uh, Teal is the SDA, so that would knock her out of the suspect pool. Yeah, I was going to say, like, it almost felt like a good situation for a fake contact, since you're in a very small conversation and could be giving several others real. Um, 
it wouldn't have, you know, of course it wouldn't have been great in that situation with an SDA, but, uh, oh, and we actually, no, we did not delegate, okay. Um, it looks like we were, in fact, joined by our subduction target, though, so, you know, a nice little bit of extra partial progress, but uh, still, still quite a lot to do here. Yeah, we actually did delegate, but the timer expired, uh, possibly for the better. Oh, I see. Okay, so we actually did do a late delegate. Interesting choice. Um, yeah, and it looks like a pretty content to just sit around and finish up flirt. I think that was kind of the same strategy on Aquarium. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, Modern, I don't know if you want to be rushing too many of your missions late, but um, it, it could work. It, it just... It, it really comes down to how active the party's been, and I, I really don't think... Uh, I would really like to see a contact here because, you know, well, now it's not as good, but, you know, the you know Disney's in the conversation. We don't know how long he's going to stay there, but we decide to go to statues instead. Yeah, I, I do agree with you. Um, With a fairly not-so-active party where a lot of people were in conversation circles, contact would have been nice to go ahead and get out of the way. Um. But actually, I mean, we're, we're still kind of in a situation where we can go back and, and pick up that, still pick up a pretty solid contact. It always worries me when the double agent has a book, because th that means that they might take, you know, 40 to 50 Any seconds the before they uh, come back into convo. Oh, and we go for a BB split, so, um, oh, and we actually didn't land on the bar pad, so uh, let's see if Cotty noticed that. That could, uh... That could be very uh, brutal if, if that was noticed. But no, we, we're not picking up a highlight. And I think it was because he was uh, getting off his lowlights at that time. Yeah, I think it was a good attempt to, to get for, go for a lowlight, and we didn't feel it, so we just got out of there. No harm done for us other than, you know, a few lowlights coming off, but we do get the, the contact. Perhaps not even credited with real here. So that's good for us. Yeah, but the part that worries me, though, is when you go for a BB split and you don't get that lowlight. Like, I have to assume you're... You probably at least went up a little bit on the suspicion list because it's like, hey, I know, I know you were probably in for that contact. Um, yeah, so yeah, it can kind of be a double-edged sword sometimes. And uh, yeah, I suspect uh, looking at the mission count, this um, this book might not be going back into the shelf that it came from. But we do at do a yet another time add. Uh, this time it's a green, so uh, this one might also go unnoticed. Yeah, I like the time out there. We were doing some active idling at the window before, maybe just to shed some suspicion before we do that. And, you know, the flirt is not looking great right now. Um, but we do have time to do, like, maybe an inspect swap play. Looks like this transfer is coming away clean, at least for now. This is a long return. Hopefully Kota is not counting cycles. Yeah, this has been a crazy amount of cycles. Um really I, i'd love you to just hurry up and put that book back because honestly with all the partial progress that toad rider has i think he's actually in a really good position to um Wait, what i thought we uh -oh. took this from green am this i is, uh... this is a green book yeah maybe toad rider forgot where he took it from because he had a a clean um he had a clean transfer there because um, surely he would have been shot while he was at the at the shelf yeah, instead going for some very risky plays, uh, and uh, what what do we do here? We we either need to find a fingerprint or or crash bug. So we do go for the crash bug and get shot. Um, yeah, that uh, I don't know. That started off like looking like Toad Raider was very clearly gonna win a spy game, and uh, something just fell apart of the bookshelf. I think maybe he um forgot wh which shelf he took it from. I'm not not so, entirely yeah. sure what happened. Because I think if we just put that back in blue, we get away with it. And the shot didn't come off until after, like, more than 10 seconds after the swap. So we, we would have survived that fourth mission. Yeah, I mean, it seems like, yeah, a Toad Rider was definitely flying under the radar. Especially given that, um, like, even the, even the swap, you know, it, it really wasn't until that crash bug that we got shot. So, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah, that, you know, I'm, I'm sure that, uh, yeah, that one kind of hurts to see. Because, uh, yeah, I think... Um, I think that should have been a you know a point, or at least at least um, a mission one countdown for Toad Rider. But uh, yeah, instead Cody uh, takes a shot, and we'll be um, seeing what he could do on the spy side. So yeah, let's see what Cody can do uh, spying as Teal. Yeah. Well, one last note. I'm I'm looking at the sniper perspective, and I'm not sure that that shot was even for the bug. I think Kota just saw the swap and shot too late. 
Because, like, he can't be seen bugging, and he's already lining it up before the bug happens. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, um, yeah, so, uh, so I guess we do actually, in fact, get shot for the swap. But, uh, so yeah, let's see um, what Kati can do, uh, spying as Teal in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Yeah, so I mean, quite an interesting game, and honestly, I, I think the like the time ads were really what made that winnable. Um, like, I don't know about you, but I feel like Modern is quite a hard venue to get spy wins. But um, if you can, you know, get those undetected time ads, it just makes such a huge difference. Yeah, um, time ads are very helpful, and just like having a plan, or a plan, and then like a backup plan of like fast missions you can do. Like delegate purloin is a is a good one. You know, green swap is also on there. Uh, you know, starting out with an early print, always a good choice and keeping track of just the prints that are the Amba's leaving around because sometimes he can get like stuck in a in a single place for a long time because of these big conversations, which can be a problem. But you you, you do have options if you if you look for them. Yeah, and um so Cody on um, you know, Aquarium pretty much pretty much like put on a clinic of how to stay active as a spy and uh, how to just keep getting steady progress throughout the game, and I'm curious to see if he'll stick to that strategy here on Modern. Um, yeah, so right off the bat, just going straight for a fingerprint. Um, I think Cody does tend to favor fingerprints as a mission, and I don't blame him. It's it's very great when you can you know track him and pull him off. Very great to have that progress in your back pocket, and um, going straight from fingerprints to what I believe is uh, statues. Yeah, so. Yeah, just going uh going in for those soft tails and I think it's a pretty good plan and we and then we pick up a highlight for it. Yeah, we haven't started flirt yet, but it's not a huge deal because we are picking up this other progress along the way. So we, we can just like you know, do flirt as it comes. Um and we can always speed it up by leaving and coming back. Uh, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, go to a window or something and just come back to a conversation. You don't always have to commit to timer flirts and, you know, waste 40 seconds where you could be doing something else. Yeah, now I'm interested to see um, if Toad Rider is doing, uh, if Toad Rider is highlighting for partial inspects, because only, yeah, we're one of only three highlights. So I wonder if it's just kind of a combination of our activity or if it's just, a, you know, a standard statue, uh, you know, partial inspect highlight. So I guess we'll find out if Salmon gets a highlight here. Yeah, no. So it looks like Toad Rider is not highlighting. Oh, yes, he is. Okay, so he's just highlighting for statues in general. So it doesn't seem like we would um, be any more of a suspect than anyone else. But uh, we do, in fact, visit Bar and uh, join this rather innocent conversation. So... Yeah, I'd be interested to see if, um, I, I would expect this gets delegated, but, um, not quite sure, um, what Cotty's plan is yet. Yeah, I think Cotty's probably, you know, thinking about maybe if we can't get a good contact here, uh, Disney does finally rejoin a conversation. So it is available to us, but we do send off the purloin to the SDA and probably going to look for our second of three flirts in this game. Okay, yeah, so he does kind of the, the delegate split, so to speak, so it's, you know, just that much harder to trace it back to us. Um, it's really just going to come down to, you know, Toad Rider having to remember everyone who was, who was at bar, because I don't think he'll quite remember who was next to the taker in that conversation. Yep. Um, but just there like is. that, the timer has just snuck up on us. And the red. Unfortunately, Redress leaves, which makes it harder for us. There is a printable statue there, which we could do like a three mission finish, but I don't think we're going to get there. We're looking like a timeout here. Okay, and yeah, it looks like Toad Rider was actually maybe just onto him from that purloin. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's tough to see people kind of run out of time there with, with all that partial progress. You know, so many avenues to win, but yeah, it's just... It's just kind of tough, you know, Modern, really big venue, and that timer can just kind of sneak up on you sometimes. Um, going for that crash bug at the end, but even if we got it, just, yeah, not enough time to work with.
Um, so with that, uh, leaving Modern and moving on to Ballroom. So a very different venue here in terms of mission density. So I do expect uh, spies will have a much easier time getting to Mission Win Countdown um, Ballroom. I feel like you can kind of get to mission sites a little easier. You can be a little more active. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, looks like we are uh, spying here as, uh, I believe, Plane Twin in three two, one, playing it. Oh, nope, looks like it's playing to one, actually. All right, so AI uh, decides to put us at a three-person bookcase. You, you love to see that. Yeah, let's see if we, you know, it might not be the worst time to go for Micra. Amba, okay, he's not in danger anymore, but we do just take the book out and begin our flirt progress. Yeah, no, yeah, that is a uh, quite interesting. We got a highlight. Oh, maybe uh, just a highlight for taking a book away. That's that's the only thing I can think. But unfortunately, we're a highlight who uh, just did a white contact with a DA, so um, we have to be suspect number one right now. I was gonna say I, I would like to see uh, Toad Rider, you know, do a wrong return since he almost got away with it last time, but uh. Kadi seems to be really on top of it last time. Maybe he saw the, the Modern replay. Yeah, it looks like we're just switching combos for now. Maybe trying to get the sniper to forget where this book came from. Oh, we're going to do a read. And we're going to get shot. Wow. Oh, a read uh, into a microfilm. I don't know if I'm... I'm not sure if maybe that was a little bit of delay. Maybe Kadi saw the microfilm, but... At least the shot on my end looked like it came right before the, the animation. Yeah, so I think Kota just saw the, the idle break. You have to be an idle to start a read animation, and Twin had his arms folded, which make, makes it very obvious, the very snappy motion. I see. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Kadi just really did not like us taking that book away early in the game. I'm, I'm not sure why that warranted a highlight, but, uh, yeah, after the contact, I think we were getting stared down pretty hard, and, yeah, any little etiquette break was enough to get us killed. So, um... Yeah, pretty good sniping from Cody and just nice awareness. And um, yeah, let's see how uh, let's see how Toad Rider can answer on the sniper side. All right, so getting into the next round, looks like Cody will be spying as Kane in three, two, one, playing it. Um, yeah, a little bit of uh, interesting pathing, but gives us gets us into the window. Um, innocent watch check, probably, probably not the best idea to go for a time ad right now. Um, just kind of going back to another innocent window. Um, I guess Kadi keeping an eye on the party. Maybe yeah, since our ST was at window, is probably waiting for them to land at a more permanent location, and we do go in for the flirt progress. Yep. And uh, Amber is going to get pushed out here. We might be able to go for some kind of bug, and we do as we walk yeah. out. And I don't think Toad Rider has uh, caught on to us. Yeah, for those who um, may be less experienced, that the cane, the the bug with a cane hand is quite strong. Pretty hard to notice from the from the sniper unless you're really looking for it. So, uh, Kadi taking full advantage of that and getting that early uh, bug mission and. Yeah, on um, and the end of red. especially on a venue like this, um, that really sets you up good for you know getting to mission one countdown. Yeah, if you can get a clean bug on ballroom, like all you have to really do is you know just one of the soft tells like print or inspects, and it's going to be very hard for Toad Rider to shoot um, unless it was somehow credited, and we haven't seen an indication of that so far. Yeah, and since we actually already have that contact, um, this is like almost one of those situations where you just want to go center statues and finish like really early, where the sniper just doesn't expect anyone to be finishing. Um, unfortunately, we are a little bit behind on flirt though, so not quite the opportunity, but the um, but still like our options for finishing are are really kind of endless right now. So really nice uh, position for Kadi to be in. And yeah, it does go for center statues because why not? Um, really, just kind of putting Toad Rider to the test. Like, hey, are you are you going to shoot me for for potentially you know finishing missions here? 
Uh, pretty good timing too, as a seek as a highlight is also going center statues. So I mean, like, even if we are a high suspect, it's it's gonna be almost like a 50-50 at this point. Yeah, we'd have to shoot for a flirt, which is certainly not gonna be easy. Yeah, and uh, Seek actually kind of does the thing where you go from center statue to another statue, which sometimes spies will do that if they didn't, you know, if they got like maybe a red test in there or just didn't get all their inspects in properly. So, yeah, if Seek was in for that contact, I think Seek is definitely a, a very big suspect as well. And all, and he does a semi bug path, but um, I'm sure that was being stared down pretty closely. And we go for a far flirt with about 46 seconds left, which is risky, but uh, we should have plenty of time to to leave and come back to finish up this flirt. Yeah, Cody did a little bit of camera shaking. I think he, he thought that he was just going to finish that flirt. Instead, uh, has to go in again. And if, you know, if Toad Rider is a behavioral sniper, we are going to get shot for this. But uh, it looks like we, um, yeah, it looks like we just kind of got away with that. And I think it just comes down to what was a really nice, clean bug. And yeah, just Toad Rider just did not have us at the right mission count. So yeah, I'm um, pretty clean, uh, pretty clean spy play from Cotty. Um, pulls ahead, okay. and uh, gives us a pretty nice lead. So uh, Toad Rider um, in a position, definitely where he wants, you know, wants to start getting some wins. Uh, spy win on library would be great. So let's see if he can uh, pull this off on library. So we will be um, spying as red dress in three, two, one, playing it. Uh, going straight into center statues. Um, you know, I'm going I mean, for I, a swap. Yeah, oh, Very goes for a swap too. Oh, it's a green. Oh, I, I don't know if I like that though. I, I like the idea to swap, but a green swap. Um, oh, and a triple inspect or a triple, uh, yeah, triple cycle. That's uh, that's going to give us a little bit of unwanted attention. I I like it if we can get another hard tell off while the, the swap is coming off. And we're going to request from Toby here at the bookshelf. Are we going to... Yes, we do get the, the green purloin. So we're going for a full rush here. Yeah, it's um, two pretty big etiquette breaks. But early library, um, you know, the sniper is usually not looking for little things like that. So uh, Toad Rider, kind of smart to take advantage. And yeah, I don't know. Like, is Kadi someone who's regularly checking statues? Because, like, if, if it's a long time before... Um, the swap is seen, then like we might not really be a big suspect for it. No one comes off. Let's see what the reaction is. We also we also got away with a white microfilm while uh, Cody was looking around. Yeah, Toad Rider uh, just full sending it. Like I guess when he's down, he's uh that's what he uh, really turns on the gas and yeah, going straight in for flirt. So this is like almost looking like a game where we could be finishing library like in two minutes or something crazy like that. Yeah, um, we could do a silent game. We could just flirt and do, do a micro, and we're done. Yeah, I, I love the pacing from Toad Rider. It's... Uh, based off of the way the laser's darting around, I think the swap is just now noticed, and Kadi's like, okay, who who did that? <laughs> um, yeah, maybe not... I, I don't know. Like, we have to be a suspect, surely, but I, I don't know if, uh, if Kadi, you know, is comfortable enough to shoot yet. And then yeah, a, a, a swap statue and a missing guest list. Um, that that'll definitely send a sniper into the into a panic, especially if you know they're not really sure where either of them came from. Yeah, Kota not panicking for now. Just taking a couple of lowlights, uh, maybe remembering who has and hasn't been around that area at least. And Toad Rider, in the meantime, it's going to join the double agent. So no no silent game. We're deciding yeah, I... that. I think yeah, we, I, you know, Duke, Duke is in, uh, who is the swapper and the center inspector is also in with the double agent, so this might not be a bad time to, to go for that contact. Yeah, I completely agree yeah, with this right. play. I think we always die if we go for the second microfilm. Um, we, yeah, we go for this contact. Conversation positioning is a little... I don't know, it's a little odd, but uh, it, it should be fine. Um, yeah, we're, we're one third away of getting a point, and yeah... Yeah, so it looks like, yeah, the Swapper does take the shot. Um, yeah, just, just pure aggression from Toad Rider paying off. The Even if um, the Civ doesn't get shot, I think, you know, Toad Rider was in a pretty good position to just finish with, with that one remaining flirt. Yeah, a huge 
departure from you know the previous few snipe spy games where he starts off in AI control for a solid 10 to 20 seconds and uh, paying off big there. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully, um, hopefully you know Hook you can continue with that strategy because you know still still in the comeback trail here and yeah sweep you know sweep completing the sweep with a sniper shot here would uh would definitely be great for him. So let's see what Cody can do here. Um, spying as a uh, rocker in three, two. One playing it. So that's you know definitely a bit of a wake up call when you're, you know your opponent has been playing a little on the slow side and then they just kind of throw a complete fastball at you like that. So at least now Cody is aware that you know Toad Rider is capable of those plays and uh, goes in um, straight for a bug himself. So yeah, kind of answering aggression with uh, his own aggression. Yep, we stopped at the the window at the beginning. I thought we might go for a timeout, but we decided against it. Um, we did timeout on Modern, but Kota looks like this time is confident that his pacing will be... Oh, no. Okay. Uh, uh, wow, very fast, very confident shot from Toad Rider. Um, I'm wondering uh, what, what happened here. Let's see. All we did was inspect and get into... Uh... CC. Everything about that looked fine. I think maybe um I think maybe the bug was just seen. Let me look at that from Toad Rider's point of view. I mean the the timing like feels very like phantom swap ish. <laughs> the bug was off screen. Uh yeah, that yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that could have been for. I uh I will also say that Toad Rider Phantom something there because I don't see any sort of etiquette break or anything. But uh, great news for Toad Rider, um, <laughs> sweeps library. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to gallery. Toad Gamer. Absolutely. So uh, Toad is, uh, I believe, spying as bling in three, two, one, playing it. We're back to AI control very briefly. Uh, joining in this innocent conversation and not talking um i don't think anyone's gonna get a shot for a no talk that early what in the game the but how uh, is this <laughs> so we specifically pick up a highlight but no one else in the conversation does that's um Are we white purloined right oh we white purloined. wow okay that that would explain the highlight i'm sorry okay i thought it was for the no no nah, the highlight came off before the purloin that, that that's why i was like what is this uh, i might have just been a twin highlight but uh yeah pretty unfortunate timing that is a great point. Some people do highlight to differentiate the twins. Um, I have not been paying attention to if Kadi has done that in any other set, but uh, lots of lowlights coming off. So um, yeah, last game, Toad Rider got away with this sort of thing. Uh, this game, not so much. And yeah, I think yeah, look, the party's down to three. Uh, it's not looking good. Yeah, Kadi was very aware of who was in. CC. I mean, only like three people were in that conversation, so yeah, not too many suspects to really think about. And and the problem is, is if if we do anything, like if we do any more missions, we're just getting shot. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think this this is probably a foregone conclusion, unless unless Kane or D Duke does something crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, you know, ways we can get back into this, but, like, when the whole rest of the party is low-lit, like, it's just, it's a, it's a little unfortunate. Um... No, yeah. And, you know, in terms of strategy, just going into, like, his thought process, I think, you know, last last game, you know, we, we went hard in the paint, and it paid off big. Um, and this time, you know, there was some, you know, unluckiness with the, the highlight before the purloin. But um, it is, you know, it's one of those things like he, he timing wise, it was like 10, 10, 15 seconds after the game started. And I think the sniper is maybe like settling down at that point. Maybe he memorized the statues. He, you know, the Amba is not constantly in danger. And now he can just start looking at things like books and purloin. And maybe that's why, you know, Kota happened to just be looking back there. And it, it can be tough to, to go for those kind of plays. Um, I mean, you have to go for them sometimes, but just... Uh, this time it didn't pay off, and looks like uh, he's not going to go for a time ad. 
but it's still not looking good for him right now. Yeah, I mean, the, the fact that we're still alive means, like, okay, Cotty was a little too preoccupied to see the full Perloid chain and everything. Um, and, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's it's a great play if we hit a green. And that, that that's most Perloins, right? Like, you just, you kind of have to green or you just die. Um, that being said, we're, we're already at three missions here, despite being a highlight. But, yeah, that's... Uh, Swap, you know, just a little too much, and yeah, Connie's on top of it. That was actually kind of a late shot, though. Like, if we if we had our flirt done, we we might have actually finished that situation. Yeah, that that is fascinating, actually. Like, maybe we weren't. I mean, we have to be the top suspect, and yet we survived ten seconds after the swap. And I don't, unless Kota is like uber confident that we're not finished with flirt. Uh, that is a a strange thing to let by, especially since we we picked we lifted up the statue, and it was clearly on screen, but. Well, to looking at something else at that moment. But yeah, with that, it looks like um Cotty has at least secured a tie. So um Toad Rider I think has to Yeah, I believe would have to win on um I think would have to win out from here. So let's see what he can Oh sorry. Actually Cotty uh, I believe that was number seven, sorry. So Cotty actually does secure the win, so yeah, so one more round from Toad Rider, just kind of going for uh, tie breaks, tie break points here. So, let's see what Kadi can do on the spy side as boots in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, so going straight into statues, um, not a bad idea. I mean. Um, you know, gallery is one of those venues where statues probably aren't quite as strong because you have to go to these two different sets to finish, and generally not as many AIs are going to it. But um, nonetheless, getting that early progress kind of seems consistent with the, the strategy that Cotty has been going for so far as Spy, and um, going straight in for a fingerprint as well. And uh, hits the green, so um, yeah, we are uh, we are gaming so far. Yeah, definitely um, showing, like, favoring soft elves, in, at least in these earlier spy games, and I'm sure Kota is very acutely aware that there is a print on that uh, front stat or back statue set that the Amba left early on, and thinking about that as a potential finish. Yeah, and I like this, just kind of waiting at the statue pad, seeing where Wheels is going to go. So we know he's going to be at bookcases, we know we could get a flirt in, but actually instead just joining in with a double agent, so... um. Maybe just opting for this contact instead. Yeah, I think this is, you know, a pretty good contact for um, for Gallery. So Koto is smartly uh, prioritizing that over the flirt, knowing that he can get flirted in a lot more places than he can get contact on this venue. And we add a uh, purloin, a green purloin, to that contact. Unfortunately, it only chains to the next person. So um, if Toad Rider was on top of purloin, it's uh, quite narrowed down. And... Uh, yeah, um, Red Rose, who was right next to us, uh, takes the credit instead of Cotty. So, uh, yeah, so um, unfortunately, he gets the wrong shot. But, uh, yeah, fairly close. Like, knew it, knew it chained from one of the people in the conversation. I think maybe Cotty kind of saved himself by leaving conversation rather quickly. Yeah, and I, I totally missed that Berlin because I wasn't expecting it. Like, I thought for sure Koto would, you know, just do a contact and finish up with that uh, printable statue, but uh, uses the contact to kind of distract the sniper with all the low lights and take that green purloin and it works out beautifully. Yeah, pretty pretty nice play, yeah, using it as a distraction. Um, yeah, just really very active game, like kind of a, a nice gallery game. It's one of those, yeah, it's one of those venues where you can do a lot and um, just it's really just hard for the sniper to see everything. And um, yeah, I love to see it. And um, yeah, with that, that concludes the set. So uh, Cotty, um taking the match eight to four. Um, and yeah, Cotty, you know, just very strong player and just showing that yeah, it's still pretty strong player. So he's probably going to be in contention for that. Um, you know, one of those top two spots. And um, so yeah, with that, 